What's going on guys, Spencer Clay is here and today we're going to talk about solar panel marketing with Facebook ads. I actually ran this campaign um, several months ago and I kind of forgot about it because I mean there's so much shit going on and I, was, I remember looking at the numbers and I was like I wasn't super impressed with the numbers that I got but then I actually went ahead and ran them because like you know I actually did quite a few jobs and so we're going to kind of talk about that. We're going to kind of dive into the numbers, how much money you're going to be able to make from just running super simple Facebook ads. And we're going to, I'm going to kind of, the whole point of this video is I'm going to show you how it's done and just kind of give you the idea of like what is possible. So we're not going to dive too deep into it. I don't want to make this video too long because I have other trainings and courses on that. So without further ado, let's dive right into the numbers. So as you guys can see here, I spent $146 and got seven messages. So this actually isn't super accurate because I ended up booking about six jobs and I specifically remember getting a couple phone calls and messages. So instead of seven messages, we could bump it up to 10. So I have kind of some of the numbers written down over here for this campaign. You can see seven messages. This one I spent, um, this specific one, I spent $42 before I shut it off. And so then the, that means the other 103 went to this other campaign. So as you guys can see here, we actually spent closer to $14. We got $14 per message because the other ones didn't count. But you know, overall in total with about with it, with getting 10 messages in total, that's closer to yeah, the 15, $14 per message mark. And as you guys know, I usually shut an ad off if it gets more than $15 cost per message. But in this case, I'm going to run you guys through some of the numbers that we got. Uh, I actually ended up doing six jobs and the total revenue just from solar panel cleaning was $1,600 for those six jobs. Cause I'll show you guys the ad in a second where the ad was a $300 introductory solar panel cleaning. But out of those, I actually did two upsells into roof cleaning and gutter cleaning. And that right alone added another $800. So in a total of $2,300 from this campaign where I spent $146. So with those sort of numbers, it's actually closer to a 1500% return on ad spend, which is insane. So if you guys are looking to run basic ads like this, I'm going to kind of dive into that right now. So you guys can see the numbers, you can kind of see what we spent. But now let's let's take a look at the ad itself. So if you guys see my TikTok, you know that I film pretty much every job. So that's kind of how I was able to look and see, um, even though it was a few months ago, I could kind of see how many jobs I did. So I, I did six jobs. And this one was the first one I did. Actually, this one was before I actually ran that. So this one didn't even count. So I, this was just a basic video. I'm not sure if it's going to play for us because we have. Okay, yeah. so it's just a time lapse, you know, just a time lapse video of me cleaning someone's solar panels. And I'm going to show you guys the framework here of exactly, you know, kind of my how I start running copy. So I have the copy right here. We can scroll. You guys want to screenshot that or just, you know, grab the book below. I have the, the pressure washing marketing guide, um, which, you know, obviously we're talking about solar panel cleaning. But this 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 works for window cleaning painting, pressure washing, roof cleaning, gutter cleaning, any sort of home service business, um, a lead is a lead. So keep that in mind. We have this very similar framework. So with that, I'm going to pull it over here. So if you guys want to take a look at the screen, here is our copy framework. So what I like to do is I like to identify the problem, call out the customer. Yes, there we go. So you can't see my face, but that's fine. No one needs to see that. Ah, fuck. Okay, so you can see got solar. We I mean, we have our our ad over here. So people are going to see me cleaning first, then they're going to read this and then they usually read the headline. Sometimes they read the headline and then they read this. But in this case, here, you know, got solar. I thought that was kind of a cool, cool take on the, the whole got milk thing. So identify the problem, call out your target customer. So this I made a video a bit ago about how to do targeting for whatever, whatever I specifically was talking about pressure washing or roof cleaning um, and, and painting, maybe it was, but what we want to target, we want to call it their problem. We want to say, so instead of like being like homeowners in California, like that's super vague, or even, even where I live, like homeowners in Seattle, that's also super vague. Let me pull this over here. That's also super vague. So we want to make sure we are calling out exactly kind of what they're thinking of. You, we want to enter the conversation that's going on in the customer's mind. So if they're, if it's a roof cleaning, gutter cleaning, painting, you know, when was the last time you had to roof clean? When was the last time you got your gutters cleaned? So we're just calling out their problems. So we don't have to be super specific with, you know, hey, homeowners that live in Highland Hills, which you totally could do. You could be super specific if you wanted to. And that's what I would suggest. Like if you're going to try and target 
people based on where they live, I would go as specific as you, as you can. Like I've literally seen people running ads that were like homeowners in Georgia. And it's like, dude, that, that sounds kind of like an alien wrote it. It's like, hello, any U S citizens reading this ad or hello, people who live in Mississippi. Like it just seems, it's just very, it's honestly kind of lazy. So we want to be as specific as we can be, or we want to call it the problem. So that's kind of how, how I target people. And, um, cause literally I'll show you guys the targeting real quick if this thing loads for us. So yeah, so here's the targeting, um, 35 and up I'm, the, and the map is literally just like 15 miles away from me. So it's the audience is pretty small. It's only 120,000 people. And so solar energy, it was what I used. That's literally all I targeted. So pretty simple. Um, you could target home improvement. You could target any sort of like, um, home Depot, like, like we've talked about before. So that's pretty much all that I want to say about targeting. Well, let's go back to the ad. So we, we called out the problem, explain why and what they should be getting done. So here I kind of add a little bit more credibility to my thing, but according to a study by Duke, done by Duke, panels can lose up to 50% efficiency when dirty and recommends cleaning them every six months to a year to maintain maximum efficiency. So a great um, article that we want to link to. So, so I explain why and what they should be getting done. So this kind of goes back to a story in scientific advertising, which is a book by Claude Hopkins. And he kind of talks about where he was running an advertisement for a beer company and they were just running basic beer ads and they were just kind of lame. And so he was like, so what do you guys do here? Like what sets your beer apart? And he's like, okay, well, we get fresh Rocky mountain water. It goes into this funnel and we distill it at this temperature and you just goes on and on. And Claude Hopkins was like, well, why don't you say that in your ads? Like, why aren't you talking about this? And like, that, and now that's kind of been like a staple. Now you see that all over the place. It's like, oh, well, we, we, yeah, we only have cool Rocky mountain water. We have, you know, fresh salmon from the North Atlantic and all that sort of stuff. So people, that's kind of where it came from. You want to be specific. We want to tell people, you know, kind of what they're getting. And then we want to hit them with our offer. So I like to do, you know, a little bit of information and then hit them with our offer and then go with our process. Um, oh yeah, I guess, you know, I kind of skipped that. Explain your process in as much detail as possible. And then we want to make sure we cover benefits over features. This is just a marketing classic. You don't want to talk too much about the features. Like we, we don't want to be like um, telling them the brand of brush that we're using. We don't want to be too specific. We, we just want to make sure we're using language like, and it's going to look really good when it's done. You're going to have the most beautiful panels on the block. Um, you're not going to have to get them clean for a long time. They're going to be so much more efficient. We want to tell them the benefits they're, that they're getting. So this is just, you know, marketing one-on-one. So don't go too specific into the features. Um, let's just always highlight the benefits. And then from there, you know, I like to hit them with the offer again. Let's see. So I actually go pretty deep. Our process, we use deionized water. Um, you use a gentle brush designed for windows and solar panels. So we, and we're kind of just answering all the questions. So if you've been doing this long enough, you've, you've been doing like, pressure washing or roof cleaning, whatever you've been doing, you should kind of know exactly what people ask, like all the questions that people are most likely to ask. So we're, we're just running through each question, each frequently asked question one by one. So we're just kind of negating uh, any objections before they even come up. So this is kind of just super simple. And one other thing that I want to mention is our cost per message was very high, but we have a specific offer. So we have a $299 offer. So this is going to this is so much more specific than a base. Like you could run a headline that says cheap ass solar panel cleaners, cheap solar panel cleaning. You might get a lot more messages. You might get a lot more cheaper per message, but we booked six jobs. So we, we literally had like a 50% closing rate, which is insane. Like normally I like to shoot for one out of four people. Like if you're closing one out of four messages that you get, that's awesome. Like, cause honestly, a lot of messages are kind of, they're kind of spam. They're people that are just tire kicking. They're not really super serious. So one out of like, one out of two people like that's that's really good i was really happy with that but it's because the this because the ad and the offer was so specific that's like that's how you can start charging more money and and like we said you know the, a lot of these just did the basic 299 dollar, but a lot of them like two of them specifically upsold so i did like a 500 hundred dollar roof cleaning and then another 300 dollar or 200 two or 300 dollar um something like that so Another point, we want to have a basic offer, but then we want to be able to upsell. And even some of those customers um, actually end up doing a, a, at least one job for the neighbor. So I didn't even include that revenue in there. This is just direct from this, this campaign. But, you know, the whole, the whole reason that I love ads is because you can get the ball rolling so quickly. You like, because as soon as you get one job, like next thing you know, you can knock 
all the neighbor's doors. You can ask this person for a referral, for reviews. Getting that momentum is crucial. So, you know, even if you're not making a ton from ads, which if, you, if you're following what I'm using here, um, it should work. And if it doesn't work, then, cause like, like here, like I haven't talked about this yet, but um, I, I ran this for the month of September and up here in Washington state, we don't have a ton of solar panels. It's not a super big thing yet. So if you're in a warmer spot where you're around, you know, Texas, California, Florida, um, you guys have a lot of solar panels. Um, you could probably run this year round, but we, w we just want to make sure the offer is good. Now, that's the only thing you take away from this video is that the offer is important. So, you know, maybe two ninety nine isn't going to work. Maybe you need to do per panel. You could charge like, hey, we're doing seven dollar per panel, a crazy special. Normally we do charge. Normally we charge twelve dollars per panel. You know, kind of know exactly what people are paying in your area, and then just you know have a great initial offer. And then when you get to the job, like either upsell them for like a roof cleaning or gutter cleaning or window cleaning. Or, you know, just sign them up for a recurring basis. So like, hey, well, um, I can actually do this for a lot cheaper today if I just come back. You know, if, if you sign up for a recurring membership, you know, we do the, we clean out, clean you three, four, two times a year, whatever you want to do. You could have some, whatever system you want. And so that, that's kind of a cool thing that a lot of people do for like window cleaning. They, they sign up for recurring customers. So I know we've been kind of going all over the place, but hit them with the offer again, call to action. Where is it? If you message us right now, so send us a message below, shoot me a text, and I look forward to working with you. And then I like to hit them with the scarcity at the very end. P.S. I can only guarantee the next seven jobs at this price. As this is the busy season of roofs and gutters, once we're booked up, we're booked up. I'm not sure if I can offer this price again. Scarcity is a hard thing to do. It's hard to be like, I can only offer this to the next people because a lot of times scarcity is kind of manufactured. It's not really real. Like We see this all the time where they're like, you know, the, the infomercial on the TV, they're like, we can only offer this to the next hundred people. And in your brain, you're like, ah, is that really legit? Like, you know, these people are trying to make as much money as possible. Are they really just, did they really only order a hundred things? So we don't really know, but but like the way I phrased that, see how I was like very, very plain. And honestly, it was true because I was very busy with other things. Once we're booked up, we're booked up and I'm not sure if I can offer this price again. So that's kind of, scarcity is kind of a hard thing to manage, but if you can nail it, Dude, it works really well. So always throwing in some scarcity can be a great thing that can make you a lot more money because people just, I mean, people just naturally want what they can't have. This is, you know, another basic marketing one at once. So that's kind of the copy framework. Again, if you guys want to dive more into this, get the book below. We kind of talk a little bit more about this. And another, another thing I want to mention, look at all these, look at all these different ads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, 10 different ads right here that we had to test and five, the top five did not work. And of these five down here below, um, one of them got four messages and the other one got three messages. I, we tested a lot of them, a lot of them didn't work and that's totally fine. So I see a lot of people, they'll test just one ad. They will just test one or two, maybe three ads. But look at this, this is just a, this is just a normal campaign. I didn't even do anything crazy. We only ran it for a couple weeks. I only spent $146 total, but if I was running a campaign like, like for that, I'm running more often, um, dude, I'm testing tons of different ads. So testing different offers, testing different ads, that is crucial. So I hope you guys learned something today. That is how you spend $146 and make $2,300 back. It's how you make 1500% return on ad spend, which this is honest. I've had campaigns that even did twice this. You guys have seen some of the pressure washing campaigns where we had like 2000, 4,000% return on ad spend. So it's, it can be cr pretty crazy because if we ran this campaign for longer, um, we got more upsells, like we could easily have done $3,000, $4,000 of cleanings. So this is how you start making that serious money. So if you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. I will see you guys in the next video. Keep after it, keep testing, keep running ads, make that money. Let's go.